Hello and welcome to the tutorial on negative numbers. In this tutorial we are going to cover numbers from minus 20 or you can call it negative 20 up to number 20. Now I want to show you the number grid that we are going to draw. Here it is. We've got 0 in the middle and we've got boxes on the right and boxes on the left. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill in those boxes. It's a bit like the number line but I wanted to show you how you can also draw this. So we've got 0 in the middle and on the right hand side we start with number 1 and then 2. It's the same as the number line we just keep going. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that is similar to our number line. We've got numbers going from 0 to 10. Now after 10, we carry on in the second row. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. Until we get to 20. Now you've seen that before in the previous number lines and the number grids we've worked with. However, what is different now is what we do on the left. Here we're going to do this in red. So the first box on the left is minus 1. Then we have minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, minus 7, minus 8, minus 9, and minus 10. And in the second row below that, we do the complete reverse of what we did on the right-hand side. Here we got minus 11, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14. It's a little bit squashed, but you know what I'm doing. Minus 16. Minus 17, minus 18, minus 19, and minus 20. So that is our number grid running from minus 20 to plus 20. Right. And what we want to point out here is that in the green everything going towards the right is larger. These are the larger numbers. Everything on the left hand side and going more to the left are smaller. Smaller numbers. The top row first followed by the second row. So let's have a look at uh, a simple example. Suppose you're outside. The weatherman has told you that it's going to be a nice day, but it's still a little bit chilly. What is it? The weatherman is saying it is 12 degrees Celsius. 12 degrees Celsius. So he's saying it's 12 degrees Celsius. The following day, however, it's much, much colder. And the following day it is minus 14 degrees Celsius. So we've got 12 degrees Celsius and minus 14 degrees Celsius. Now, which number do you think is larger? Is it 12 or is it minus 14? Well, if we look at our number grid, well, we're starting at, and let's color this in. We'll do this in purple. We've got 12, which is over here. I'll just point it out with an arrow as well. So we've got 12 up here. Minus 14 is over here. That's minus 14. Now 12, now if you look at the 0, the 0 is very, very interesting in this. Because let's have a look at this right-hand side. The number 12 is greater than 0. 
So 12 is naturally more than 0. What about minus 14? Well, on this side, minus 14 is less than 0. Minus 14 is less than 0. Therefore, minus 14 is smaller. Minus 14 is smaller. And the arrow we do here is... There we go. It is pointing to the smaller number. The smaller number is minus 14. Let's have a look at one more. This time, let's suppose we've got... And we'll do this in in blue. We've got minus 18 degrees Celsius. So we've got minus 18 degrees Celsius. The following day, however, it's 2 degrees Celsius. Now, which number do you think is larger? Which arrow should we put, should we place between the minus 18 and the 2? Which number is smaller? The arrow has to point to the smaller number. Is it minus 18 or is it 2? Now you'll be thinking that, well, 18 is a larger number. But don't forget, it is minus 18. Minus is less than 0. So therefore, this number is less than 0. Here it is, we're just going to point it out here. There's minus 18. Number 2, on the other hand, is is all the way here. So therefore 2 is more than 0. Now if 2 is more than 0 and 0 is more than minus 18, have a look at this equation. We'll just underline this part in yellow. 2 is more than 0. That's the first part of the equation. The second part is that 0 is more than minus 18. Therefore, there's shorthand for writing therefore, 2 is greater than minus 18. So therefore, the arrow we put be between minus 18 and 2 is this one. Minus 18 is less than, the arrow's pointing at minus 18, so minus 18 is less than 2. So that is how we work out negative numbers from minus 20, or you can call it negative 20, up to 20. If it is minus, it is less than any of the positive numbers. So minus 20 is smaller than number 1. Minus 20 is smaller than 0. Always bear that in mind.